Today, we are gonna make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not gonna be that kind of grass. It's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your mother should practically build them yourself. <laughs> So first up, we're going to look at the build of the El Lobo Del Mar. Back in early August, one of the fellows in the Northern Utah Model Group posted this on Facebook for free. Uh, said that he'd never finished building it. He got to this certain point, and um, anybody who wanted it, well, I wasn't going to take it for free. I gave him some money for it, but um, I was able to acquire this, and... The hull was mostly built. Uh, a lot of the, a lot of the stuff was done here, so this was going to be easy to be able to convert this into uh, into a pirate ship. And you can see, it's actually not too bad, not too bad a shape. So we're going to get started on this. Obviously, we're going to be doing some uh, some painting, but I'm going to take this stern piece off, and I'm going to use the one from the USS United States kit that I have. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on. Assembled that. You saw I did a, a review on that kit oh, a couple months ago. Very similar to the Constitution. There's about seven different or seven other parts that that go to it. So that's what I'm going to do to put the raised part on the stern. <coughs> There's the covers for the gun ports. And so we take the uh, the back end off, and we'll start putting the uh, start putting the new back end on. Now this, the colors I've chosen for this ship are this pale green from Testers, and this British British middle stone that I had left over from my Flocal paints. They're still very viable, and these are going to work great for what I need. So what I've decided to do is take one of the larger uh, boats and mounted a cannon on the front end. This was kind of something that several of the pirates would do is they would arm their, their smaller vessels um, in some of their raids. So here's that raised platform in the back. I'm going to start out by putting the wheel up here, although I eventually moved the wheel down one level. But uh, the structure that I built there on the back, the little house is for the, the ship's bell which uh, I've got a resin uh, 3D printed one that I need to put in there. Uh, you can see the colors of the paint. Now I'm going to have to go over that tan again. So for the figure on the front, these custom dioramics gals I got uh, at Nationals, the one on the right hand side, okay, kind of in the lavender dress, that's the figure that I'm going to use. And, well, cut her legs off, um, added a little bit more to her skirt, made a couple of very large swords out of um, putty, uh, milliput, and put her on the front of the ship. I think she turned out pretty good. Here's some more of those mermaids that I built out of HO scale figures and some milliput. And put these on the aft end which in the uh, cover photo for the uh, for the build uh, has those and I named this one the Saint Nicholas so originally the name would be the Saint Nicholas uh, this is after one of my grandsons I did this for each one of these builds uh, named it after one of my one of my uh, grandchildren and here it's looking so far the El Lobo Del Mar the Lion of the Sea um, in other words, sea lion. So there, I've got a sea lion on it, and uh, decided to put an emerald. Thought that would uh, look good on the nameplate. Coming along pretty good. Painted the uh, the masts in a flat brown from Testers. The little bottle of flat brown. Weathered them up a little bit, and used some uh, 
dark chestnut color. Um, I think testers for the uh, for the ship's boats. And by the way, that lantern, that big lantern at the back end, it came off of the uh, I think it was the Tentacles of Fate kit. One of those Lindbergh um, pirate of the Caribbean um, series or the Jolly Roger series, whatever you want to call them. But anyway, that's what it came from. It came from those uh, those fighting pirates. And here it is with some figures. Little, very, very little minimal rigging on it. You can see I've even got some figures up in the rat lines. Obviously, there's a long way to go, but um, this this will work for what we're going to do with our um, with our murder mystery. And somewhere on there, there's a flag. Oh yeah, we put that up there at the top. There you go. So the next one will be the Yeti of the Sea. And I'm going to use the British Man of War. It says 196 scale. See how big that is? It's not. It's one. It's like 164 scale. Uh, yeah, this is... Uh, anyway, yeah. Misscaled. Went together real quick and real easy, though. You can see the hull just with some clothes pins and some clips. It went right together for me. Um went ahead and started painting some of the black on it, put the lower deck in, which wasn't weathered a whole lot. Um, eventually I came back and weathered it a little bit, but you can see getting the, the black painted on it. This took a lot of painting. It took more painting than it did uh, building. So here's the upper deck, and this is, we did that demonstration a while back on how to uh, do kind of a weathered deck for these ships. And that's how that turned out, and it does look really good. For the base, I had this left over from a Cuddy Sark kit, and I went ahead and used that instead of the base that came with the kit. That's a plastic piece. I just painted wood, basic wood color on it, and gave it a couple of washes, and the grain turned out really good. I named this one after my granddaughter Aspen, and the backstory on this was that at one time it was supposed to be a French slave ship. So I named it La Belle Aspen, the beautiful Aspen. There you go. Um, and further back, the backstory is that this would have been a, a third-rate uh, man of war sold to the French and then eventually commandeered by a pirate. So you can see the painting on it. It's pretty elaborate. It calls for more. But I didn't want to overdo it, considering the picture that I was going from uh, for the game. And I think this uh, is definitely colorful, but not too much. It's starting to take shape here. Got the masts up. Looking pretty darn good. So, the Yeti of the Sea, which is a Yeti crab. And you see why they would call it a Yeti crab. How on earth am I going to do this? Well, uh, didn't want to make it out of clay. I could have. Like, uh, I could have made it out of uh, two-part epoxy putty. But I decided that I would take this um, lobster that I had. And I would try eh, converting him just a little bit. So I cut the tail off and, and did a few other little modifications. And... For the pinchers, the big pinchers on the front, I had this crab from one of those Lindbergh kits. Went ahead and took him. What am I going to do with him? You know, So I cut his pinchers off and decided to go ahead and use those. Originally, the pinchers that I had, well, yeah, they're definitely substandard. So you'll see how they turned out here in just a minute on the base. Now, these medallions... Again, remember I was pouring these out of resin, and all I did was partially pour it in the mold so that I could get like the skull and the cross swords without getting the entire medallion. So that's what I did, and I used that for part of the base. And you can see here how the Yeti turned out. I put a little static grass on him, uh, sprayed him white with uh, 
uh, with an airbrush, and then the little pirate face, and the cross swords that are resin uh, that I made out of resin from that uh, from that mold. And here's the pirate flag that I decided to fly on this particular ship. Eventually I'll put something else there. This was made, both these were made of cloth that I hand painted. Um, eventually I'll come back and, and I'll do something else. But for now, it works. So take a look around the whole thing with what rigging I have done on it few extra things I've embellished on it and I like how it turned out I think it's gonna work very well for our game So this one was a lot of fun, really was. I enjoyed this. Put a few crew figures on it. Okay, so folks, uh, that's the fourth ship. Let's go ahead and take a look at all four real quick, and I'd like you to vote on which one is your favorite. So the first one we did was the Raging Cannon. So that's what the picture is in the game, and here is the model that I did. Of course I've added a few things since this picture but gives you some idea. Then there is the black onyx and there it is in the in the game and here is how it turned out my version of it. There's the El Lobo de Mar that we just looked at a few minutes ago and my version of it And then finally, the Yeti Odyssey. And my version of that. So vote for your favorite. Hey, thanks, folks. Appreciate you uh, joining us. And, well, we'll see you again real soon.